Hi, this is Vishal and hope all are doing good. Uh, actually, this is a one more time. I'm making this series, but in a Kotlin. That is a test-driven development. So please must watch my Java series in which uh, I have defined each and everything. What is the TDD? What is the testing? So for the theory part, you have to study from there. And for the Kotlin part, I'm making this video because of as per uh, many users requirement that they want the TDD in Kotlin also. So I'm making the series a practical series on that in a Kotlin. So for the theory sessions, you have to uh, study from the Java. Okay. Uh, the same thing, but to how you can convert it, how to work with the Kotlin here, I am giving the examples to you. So better first you have to learn from a uh, theory part from there. Okay. And uh, I put the link below so you can learn for that. So what is the TDT testing? I have already described it there. And what is the unit test integrational operational system? So these all we have to work whenever you work with the TDD part and there'll be the testing pyramid we have to work also. So many things uh, uh, we work with. But here in this series on the Kotlin, we started from the J unit four basics. Then we go for the Mokito, Roboelectric and all kind of uh, series we will cover in here. Okay. And uh, we have some test rules that I defined with here. What is the activity test rules, how you can use. So that's it. So here, whenever you work with the Kotlin, the most important part is that you have to work with that unit Android test implementation with the test rules and with the runner. And whenever you work with Android Studio, I will show to you. Uh, that means here, uh, we need this kind of testing with the J unit 4. Okay. So first I'm talking about the J unit 4 and you have implemented this kind of test implementation with that and how you can work with these all stuffs. Uh, I will show to you in Android Studio. So let us start it uh, here. Okay. Okay, so let us start in and write a studio here. We can see that we need uh, rules, we have runner, we have extension for that. That's your simple and default is give you a J4, okay, in Android X. So these two important features we need it. Rest that is on with your gradles also, okay. So and how we can work with this, this uh, we have to start with your Kotlin. So here we have a catty file and here first uh, I'm giving a simple text how we can check that uh, it is wrong or right, whatever we have on a text. So you can work with the edit text also as we have done in a Java part. Uh, do the same thing, but just how we can start it. And here for the most important thinking that is on your right click. And uh, you can see that this is our go to part. And on the go to part, first we need a test. And this is your main create a new test as we have done on the Java also and here the most important part is it's not a groovy test you go for the J unit 4 test okay first with the basic testing as you set up tear down if needed otherwise no need of all that and you can say okay so this is the basic way and here I already described you there's a two kind of testing but as we are doing the Android test okay so that is an important part that's I already described what is the stack overflow issues or, or other things on my uh, theory part in a Java so I provide the link to you you must watch that why we need it okay so you can say Android test for the okay and then see there is a file for the main activity test B here okay it create a file with the before and the after so that's the starting of your J unit 4 basic test we need a rule for first that means at rule we, we have to walk so you have to put the rule and also because of you have to convert that as in the Java so you need a JVM field okay so these two important part whenever you do the testing with your and this is your uh, activity test rule you go for that and that's your activity test rule and inside that you have to go which activity you want and then you have a double 
columns and that's your class as we are doing and class.java okay so that's the way you start your activity test rule and here we need an activity so let in it where and your activity this is your main activity these two be ready and here that's your before and here you need to work with your test so you give the test name whatever be your test so you give it fun test your activity it's on you uh, what be the name of that your activity okay and uh, as uh, you have before the setup that means your activity this is your activity test rule dot activity and there in the java what we have done we have done get activity so the same thing the same process we are doing okay so here we have to start the test and here no need of this uh, after that means uh, uh, that's be up your null values of the activities okay so just it is your simple startup whenever you work with your JNet4 basic test okay once uh, everything be ready uh, so we started our test we have so this is your test activity and here uh, first I am going to show to you that what is a simple activity text whether we have to input or the right or wrong because of there on activity main we have a text as an official so uh, what I have to do you just go for assert equals this is your expected I want to be the Vishal it is it fine or not so here you can go for their activity activity dot your text view that is the ID and that is your text and that is your to string okay so that's the way you can work and that is your ID for whatever we don't activity so first if it is equals to the Vishal then it gives the test pass and otherwise it's failed. So every you can use the edit text and every input you can check it whether your input be wrong or right using this. So this is a basic way. Then we go for the functions also. Uh, I will show it to you. But we need an emulator or the device for the testing. So first we have to uh, start our Jenny motion. Okay, so let's see here we have a Vishal and here activity text to dot text dot two strings that matches to the Vishal. So it means our expectations be fine. That means whatever we, we put the testing for the testing, it gives the result for that. Okay, so the same thing uh, we can do that if you want with the test fail. So what to do? You can put expectation be wrong or your string be wrong. So one be the wrong thing there. So it gives you an error. So it means whenever you work with your uh, retrofit and whenever we get the data, so it gives us an error for that. So again, we can execute it and then run that tax uh, activity. Okay. So that means we can check it whether it pass or fail. Okay. So you can see that here the test failed. So it means our asserts not equal. So that means there's a, a checking or cross checking. We can say that is a simple unit testing whether your input be wrong or right. What you are doing with that? Okay. So that means as you receive from a data from your uh, retrofit and whatever be your input, cross check on that. So many things you have to check one by one. So now I will show to you how you we can check our functions in it. So let's see what to do for that. And if you want to use the edit text, you can also use it with the same way. Okay. Uh, now let's see for the function. For the function testing, uh, we have to go for the main activity. And here I'm making the function for the email test that uh, as we have done for the Java TDD part. And here we can go for the same public uh, function that is your is valid email and you can see that if it is an email we go for the string part and our function be like a boolean okay and here we have to return that part and on the return 
uh, we need is not equal to text utils dot is empty that's your email and patterns dot email address dot matcher your email dot matches so i think this is a very simple function be here and i want to cross check that so for this what to do we have to go for the testing again at this part and here we have a assert true okay and uh, assert true we have to go for a a at gmail.com and comma uh, we have to check this is your activity dot we have to cross check the function so that is is valid email that's your function and you have to go for that activity dot your text view dot your text dot to string okay so that's the way we can check it but here uh, first I want to check the test pass so for this what to do you have to go for the activity main and as we want this expectation beyond aa at gmail.com but there we have a name uh, Vishal so I have to change that name as in a aa gmail.com okay so we can pass our test B here so once we can copy paste and then cross check it whether our test pass or fail again go for the main activity test kt and uh, this is your test and you have to run that test and cross check whether it is a fail or a pass test okay so this is our run test activity so let's check what happened okay so let's see what happened in it uh, here you can see that test pass so that means here we have a gmail.com that means whatever with the email id you can cross check it is a valid email with your text view so it's give you the expectation with this and it's uh, show to you the assert you and uh, whatever we are uh, wrong so it gives the it is with the not a valid or whatever we according to your requirement you can cross check your unit testing with the email uh, is valid or not so this kind of stuffs you can do uh, I will show you one more function here how you can work with now let's start with the new function here I have a function like uh, a simple concrete function I'm making you can check your own functions uh, and uh, in the future we'll show to you some complex functions uh, like retrofit data and your recycler view as we have done in the java series so we can implement with it the mockito express so all kind of testing system testing also be needed for that so we'll show you all kind of testing but here just for the practice you can do it for the function just uh, you have to put with your edit text to edit text and then get check be here but here i'm making a name one a string name two a string return tab your string variable name concat and here you can say name one plus 
name two and here you have to return call cat so this is our function so very simple function and here i walk with the mojito so sorry uh j unit so what to do I just copy paste uh, do this And here you can say this is your Vishal key. Okay, and here you can say this is your activity dot concat string. Here you can pass it, you can directly pass it, or you can uh, get it from your, your text or your edit text as we have done. Okay, so here you can say this is a key, and uh, now we can check it what happened with this testing okay so now run that okay so let's see the result here it is test pass so you can check it whether uh, we use your uh, edit text one two or uh, different functions you can work on it's just a simple basic practice as the conversion of the ttd java so again i am repeating that uh, I put it the link of TTD first part in a Java. There is the there is a complete brief theory description how to work with the TDD, what is the TDD. Then you have to work with the same as we have done Java there, and here you have to work with the Kotlin. So this is the simple practical short session. But please must watch that session on Java and uh, learn that theory. Okay. So we'll uh, continue with this session, the Kotlin, and uh, we go for the second conversion of the Java session there, and how to work with this. That is your Mojito Espresso Recycler view. We have to test a lot of stuffs be there, and then after that, one sessions we complete, we have to go for the system testing and lot of bits be there. Okay. So thank you so much for the day and. Uh, uh, we shall continue this and soon we are for the second session of this. Thank you so much.